For today's little thing, you're going to be reading Max and the Moonbeam by Rob Scotton. Max and the Moonbeam. Max and the Moonbeam by Rob Scotton. Max twiddled his fingers and tapped his toes as he nervously waited his turn for show and tell. Why do my show and tells never go well, Max wondered aloud. Dare to see what you can do, replied a little voice. Your turn, Max, said Mr. Whiskers, the teacher. Max took a deep breath and began. Last night, I boggled my brain looking for a fun thing for show and tell. I searched in my closet and around my bed. I looked under my fish and behind Mr. Ted. But I found nothing and show and tell loomed with a fun without a fun story I was doomed. So I asked my shadow, what should I do? My shadow just shrugged, it hadn't a clue. A flash caught my eye and through the window afar, I spied a light in the sky, a bright shooting star. Through the window a blaze like a furious rocket, it spun me around and crashed in my closet. And when the dust cleared, I was shocked to see a strange blue thingy staring at me. I wanted to hide, but stood strong all the same. I bravely stepped forward and asked, what's your name? The bluey thing smiled with a slightly odd stare and a bubble then two popped into the air. A moon and a bean then followed a thought. Moonbeam was the name of this blue astronaut. Where did you come from to be here in my room? Moonbeam raised a finger that led to the moon. Moonbeam shared moon tails in his best bubbly speak. I laughed so hard I made my own bubble squeak. Max Moonbeam said, you're funny and swell. Will you come to the moon to be my show and tell? I don't think I can. You see, I'm really quite shy. To settle, said Moonbeam. You can, you, a can-do guy. You're a pup of courage, clever and kind, of impeccable style and squeaky behind. We spoke of adventures to come and the wonders we'd see. Then we sped into space, my blue friend and me. <clears throat> we flew fast and high past the planets and stars. I oohed at Saturn and awed at Mars. I looked back at our world, a planet so small, a beautiful, precious, fragile blue ball. Then on to the moon, I was a show and tell hit, and to my surprise, not nervous one bit. As I set off for home, I waved my farewell. Then I asked Moonbeam, will you be my show and tell? Of course, Moonbeam said, let's do it, let's go. You're sure to be the star of the show. We're Moonbeam and Max friends through and through. Let's dare to see what we can do. And that's my story, and this is Moonbeam, but Moonbeam wasn't in the box. Instead, a single bubble rose into the air. It grew bigger and bigger until it popped. That was a spectacular, cried Mr. Whiskers. Well done, Max. The class cheered. Max was thrilled. But later, Max was confused, very confused. Where did Moonbeam go? The answer was a tap, tap, tap away. It was beside you the whole time, Moonbeam said. You couldn't see me, but I could see you, and you were amazing. Sometimes it takes a friend to show us how amazing we really are. We're Moonbeam and Max, friends through and through. Let's dare to see what we can do. The end.